Hospital. Hello, I'm John Berardino, and welcome to General Hospital. Today is a very special day for us. It marks our 30th anniversary on the air, making us the longest running show in Hollywood. And the opening you just saw was from that first episode we aired on April 1st, 1963. 30 years, that's a long time ago. But I remember it like it was only yesterday. General Hospital was only 30 minutes long. We only had two dressing rooms, one for the men, one for the women. Now we have 40 dressing rooms and 31 contract players. In the first years, we wore our own clothes, except for the doctors' and nurses' uniforms. Now there's a costume designer and an entire wardrobe department. Well, a lot has changed over the years, but we're still on that seventh-floor nurses' station where it all began. On today's anniversary show, I'm going to take you on a walk down memory lane, and you'll get to see that very first episode of General Hospital that aired 30 years ago. As you're about to see, today's a day of new beginnings. I truly hope you enjoyed today's show and keep watching General Hospital for another 30 years. Thank you. Whatever you do, come on time. This is definitely a surprise. He has no idea that we're doing this. You bet. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. How many people? Bye-bye. How many people? How's it going? Like clockwork. Everything should be in place by tonight. Okay. Oh, well, I hope so, because I think Clinton's inauguration was less trouble. Very funny. <laughs> okay, we were just going over the RSVPs, and it looks like everyone's going to be here for Steve's anniversary party. Right. Everybody yeah. but Mac and Felicia, obviously. Well, maybe they'll see it on the news. I understand Tiffany is going to bring a news crew. Tiffany never right. made an opportunity for a story. <laughs> 30 years at General Hospital for Steve Hardy is a news story. He's been here at the hospital longer than I've been on the planet. Me too. <laughs> Amy, please, give me a break. You're 30. <laughs> Excuse me. I have 16 months and 11 days left before I am 30. <laughs> I don't think so. But I'll buy it, okay? Now, does anybody know anything about the party plans for Steve? Does he know anything about them? No, no, everyone's managed to keep the lid on it so far. Think you can hold up your end of that, Amy? Are you implying, after all the hard work that I have put in on this surprise, that I'm the one that will blow it? Yeah. <laughs> so don't. Yes, of course, I was just thinking. Oh, about what? 30 years is a long time. Yes, it certainly is, and it is cause for celebration. Now, don't start that again, Audrey. It's not a big deal. Today's another day, just like thousands of other days. Well, I don't know. I, it feels kind of different to me. It feels kind of special. Well, I really don't feel like celebrating. Why not? Because after all these years, I don't feel as if I've contributed very much. Oh, will you stop being silly? You've helped so many people over the years. Don't ignore the fine work that you have done. But it just seems harder and harder all the time to get anything worthwhile done. Nobody said that it isn't an uphill struggle. We all have to be content with the small day-to-day -day victories. And I want to share those victories. That's why I, I, I got into medicine. But all I'm doing now is managing the hospital. That's not why I became a Would doctor. Stop selling yourself short. We all know you are a fine doctor. Do you, do you have the list? Yes, yes, I 
I have the list right here. Okay, okay. but then, uh, I mean, I mean, the balloon. Congratulations, Dr. Hardy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what is that? Shoot. Excuse me. Hi. What a surprise. I mean, not a surprise. I mean, good morning. Well, I guess it's probably afternoon now. Could you guys get that for me, please? No, no, Thank come you. Here, come here. What's wrong with you two? You act like a, I caught you with your hands in a cookie jar. No, 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 no not us, Dr. We were just working on the monthly staffing reports right here. Amy, do we have any messages? Uh, yeah, um, well, actually, no. Um, you do have somebody waiting to talk to you over in the lounge. Any name? Uh, well, she said that you wouldn't really remember her name because you hadn't seen each other for a while. Hmm. Is this someone I should worry about? Hardly, darling, but I'll let you know. Oh. Maintenance to the fifth floor, east wing. Maintenance to the fifth floor, east wing. May I help you, ma'am? Dr. Dr. Hardy, I don't believe it. You haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you have made a slight disadvantage. Do we know each other? Oh, well, I guess it has been quite a while. I, I was just sitting here thinking that it's been 30 years since you saved my life. Saved your life? Yes. I'm very, very grateful. Um, oh, oh, Dr. Hardy, I'm, I'm Angie Collins. I, well, I used to be Angie Costello. Angie Costello, of course. <laughs> oh, you look wonderful. Thank you. You know, I was telling somebody the other day about my very first patient here, and by golly, here you are. You got into an automobile accident and had your face cut up, right? That's right. And, and to this day, oh, I, I just remember everything about General Hospital. So much happened here. And I even remember where it started, in room 712. Positively childish. And the towel over the mirror again, too. Hmm? You know, if you realize that you're a lucky girl, lucky to be alive. You're so young. Honey, what do you do it for? You know why. Dr. Brown, Dr. Miller, and Dr. Sullivan. Emergency. How is she, Jessie? Still fighting everybody and everything. She wants to live in the dark and never see her face again. That's about what she was doing when I went in. The blinds all drawn, towel over the mirror. Cheers, Dr. Hardy. I just can't take it. Angie, you listen to me. If you want to go riding with your boyfriend after he's been drinking and there's a smash-up, how can you complain about your face? You're lucky to be alive. And with a face like I've got. We'll take care of your face, I promise. You promise 